Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Abbott Hawkins and the 1001 Spikes. So this is a game that has kind of an interesting history. It is developed, of course, as you can see there, by Nicholas, and it has finally made its way to PC in some form. So um, basically, I believe this started out as Abbott Hawkins and the 1000 Spikes on the Xbox Live Indie Games Marketplace, and now it is... Uh, here, so that's cool. It's out on Steam. It is uh, fifteen dollars. I believe it's ten dollars if you own a, another Nicholas game, which would be like Cave Story Plus or Night Sky. But uh, I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna play. You can see I've played for like thirty-six minutes, and that kind of really tested my patience. <laughs> not that it's bad, but um, you will you will see. It's very difficult. I'm not sure what most of these are, obviously because I haven't unlocked them. I think one is probably a speed run. Or like a no deaths mode because that is kind of what this game is like. Um, arcade mode is is for like multiplayer kind of like arena stuff. Uh, but the story mode here is is the real kind of meat of the game. I'm just gonna start at the beginning and we're gonna see how far I can make it. These guys will all talk to us. I am playing uh, with an Xbox controller. So what I'm doing here is I've got X to jump, Y to do a double jump. Well, not really double jump, but double height jump, and then X or B will uh, shoot my little darts. And basically in each level we have to collect the key, get through the door. That's it. That's all we gotta do. And that is the... Um, that's basically what, what we're doing here every level. However, it gets tricky because the game is extremely difficult. Um, those are golden skulls that we can get. Um, I've already gotten this one so I'm not even gonna go for it. But, uh, you know, you've already seen blocks fall, you've seen spikes come out from the ground. It only gets worse. <laughs> like, this game will really, really test your patience. I don't care, like, how many years you've played games, I don't care how good you think you are at games. This game is not easy. And it will really, really test your patience to keep playing. Uh, in a good way. I mean, it's not like... It's not like I was like hating my time with it or anything, but man, uh, just like some of the way that the traps are set up, things like that, get to be very, very frustrating. I'm actually going to see if I can get this golden skull. I did indeed. Of course, now I have to get out with it alive, of course. Alright, cool. Did it. So yeah, there's a golden skull in... I think every level. Oh, cool. I unlocked uh, a color change for my character. That's cool. Um, yeah, and the, the golden skulls are always difficult to get, so they're always like an extra challenge. So most of the time I would actually recommend not even going for them. Because uh, in a couple levels here we're going to see that things get difficult enough as is. Um, what's interesting is you can see my lives, it actually does remember your lives when you go back and, and redo stuff. So, um, I guess like redoing levels is maybe not the best idea. Because basically what happens is we start with a thousand and one lives, hence the name. And um, basically our goal is to get through all of the levels before we lose all of our lives. Uh, I'm not totally sure about how many levels there are. I know on the Steam page it said something like 100 plus levels. So um, you're going to get a lot of time out of this because a lot of these are like, hey, play this over and over until you memorize the level and memorize exactly what you need to do. Uh, and you, you know, you may be asking, like, what are you talking about? This looks pretty easy. Yeah, the, the beginning levels are very easy. <laughs> um, in a couple levels here, things are going to get kind of a random difficulty spike and that's uh, that's that's kind of what we'll see here in a minute and um, you will understand what I've been saying so I wanted to show this off to show kind of how the game eases you into everything and it really does ease you into it like I I was very very surprised when I got to um, when I got to the the second world I basically immediately started getting upset at the game uh, once I hit the second world. Alright, which should be here pretty soon. 
Alright, yeah, so this is just like... Alright, this is kind of funny. He says, The Elder spoke about a time with no checkpoints. I think that's supposed to be, um... I don't know if that's supposed to be a, a joke about Avon Hawkins and the Thousand Spikes, how there wasn't checkpoints. I think with that one, you had to play it all in one sitting. I could be wrong, though. Like I said, I've, I've never played it, so... I, um... I wouldn't know. I wonder, do these do anything? What happens if I go up here? Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. That's quite alright. So we press these two buttons, and then uh, this kind of takes us into the tempera uh, the temple proper. Uh, there is a story here. I'm just going to skip it. Um, you can check out the story for yourself. And you can already see, like, this looks... Just from like a quick glance, this looks much harder than the um, levels that we were doing before. Alright, sorry, the commentary is going to get a little sporadic here. I, I want to do as much as I can to make sure that I, I'm not just dying all the time. And honestly, this has been um, a pretty good run so far. Uh, of course, we haven't really hit anything too difficult. But, you know, um, a lot of this is just because I've played these levels before already. Uh, if you haven't, like, you're going to get hit by that dart at the end. You're going to get hit by the spikes that pop out of the side of the wall uh, just before the final jumps. Like, you know, all of these things are things that I only know. You're going to get, you know, crushed. Well, I did get crushed by that block, but uh, that was that the first death? Dang. That's awesome. Yeah, um... You know, these are all things that, that you're going to trigger at some point, and, uh, you know, you're going to experience <laughs> kind of getting killed by those traps. Um, luckily, I, I've done these, so I know, for the most part, like, what to expect. Alright. Yeah, this part kind of sucks. There is a, um, a really particular jump up here that you have to get. Perfect. Alright, uh, and as you can see, you can actually play this multiplayer. Again, I haven't been able to test out any of the multiplayer stuff. I'm, I'm sure it's good, I'm sure it's fun, and I'm actually looking forward to trying out the multiplayer, because I feel like the multiplayer would probably be less frustrating than the single player, because at least then you're like doing it with someone, so, like, when you're dying over and over, it's it's not as much of an issue, I guess. Like, because I feel like it would be more fun, I guess I would say, with, um, with a partner. Um, besides, you know, there are all the arcade modes, which I'm sure are super fun. Uh, from what I saw and what little I, I tried playing, I, you know, I plugged in a second controller so I could at least see that they worked. Um, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, there was... You know, there's like a variety of kind of like arcadey things going on with those, and that's that's awesome to see. I think it's it's a nice way to kind of justify this being sort of a maybe like a director's cut package, if you will, um, because I know the price has seen a, a pretty big increase from what the um, from what the Xbox arcade version was. Um, and I think that that's oh, dang it! You know, it's funny is I, I actually didn't die on this level uh, the first time through. But anyways, um, and I actually have lost a lot more lives than it looks like I have. When you beat the oh man, when you beat the second world, um, you get 50 lives. And every time you get a golden skull, you get a life up. So, um, you know, you can take, like, maybe another 53 or 54 off. Oh, I did it again, man. That, you know, that can get pretty frustrating. And I guess, like, now that, now that you've kind of seen the gameplay here, I guess I can kind of start going into, uh, you know, my actual thoughts on everything. Um, I, you know, I like the game. I think it's really good. What I what I don't like necessarily is that um, you know there there are times when it 
I mean, like I said at the beginning, it really does test your patience. This was the level. Like, this was the level where I found my breaking point. I, <laughs> I was, like, ready to quit. I, I almost just, like, closed the game, and I was like, I can't do it anymore. But, you know, I finally beat the level, kind of by luck. But, like, there's just so many kind of skills that this level suddenly makes you throw together. I guess, like, if I was going to compare it to anything, it's like the jungle in Spelunky. Like, all of a sudden, you just have to be able to do everything. Um, and, you know, it doesn't help that there's still, like, a ton of just, like, trick traps as well that you're not going to know until you die by it. So... You know, do I agree with the difficulty spike? I don't really disagree with it. It sucks, like, it, it really pissed me off. But at the same time, um, I'm hoping that it's just like a way of kind of easing you into the rest of the game, I guess, and kind of getting you prepared. Like, I mean, I you know, I compared it to the jungle in Spelunky, and I, I would hope that that's kind of how it works out. That if you can do this level, the next few levels are going to be a lot easier. Uh, I don't have like any proof of that because I didn't really do too many levels after this. In fact, I might have just stopped after this one. But uh, we'll see. I, I will finish this level. I mean, I guess unless it takes 10 minutes and I still haven't finished it. Alright, yeah, I mean, like, the biggest thing is, is they just like really test the skill of the fact that you can um, use your darts to shoot the other darts. And it's not like that's an unknown thing. Like, one of the, one of the mice at the beginning of the game tells you that. But, um, it, it's not really tested until this level. So, I think that is, oh yeah, okay, so that is actually the end of where I got to. It's so funny, because the first time you saw it took me 36 minutes to get that far. And this time I did it in a third of the time, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that shows, like, once you learn a level, chances are you're gonna be able to do it pretty well. But, um, I have no idea, by the way, how you would get that. <laughs> I guess probably doing some weird, like, jumping up there kind of thing. But, I don't know, one down? That was messed up. Wow. I don't appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I have not done this level. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, my, my concentration mode is just, like, started. Alright. Oh no, I couldn't do it. Man. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see, though, like, how, how difficult this, this gets, like, really, really quickly. It just gets to the point where you either have to memorize the levels or, um, get lucky. <laughs> you know, I mean, chances are, like, you're not gonna just, like, luck your way through something like this. You're probably going to memorize the level, and it, it doesn't have, like, a whole lot to do with skill all the time. Like, a section like this certainly does. This is 100% skill-based. But, there's plenty of stuff in the game that isn't skill-based, I would say. And is just like, you had the patience to die enough times to learn all the traps on this level. Learn the timing of everything. And at times, like, I feel like it almost becomes a rhythm game. Because you, you know, you have to learn the rhythm of, like, all the traps. I mean, that's kind of like what's going on in this level. Ah! It doesn't have, like, this Belunky thing, by the way, where you can, like, walk on the side of spikes. I mean, I guess, like, a good game comparison. I know a lot of people are going to look at this and say, like, oh, Spelunky. It's, it's not. It's not anything like Spelunky. Other than, I guess, the fact that it's hard. But that's, like... No. Oh, are you kidding me? That's, like, not a very defining characteristic of Spelunky. And it, it doesn't really define this game either. Oh, so if you do that, I don't think you can win. You just can't get past that section. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Um, but no, like, some good comparisons, I guess, would be, like, La Mulana. Uh, maybe, like, I want to be the guy, to some extent. 
because there is just like this uh, you know I mean like La Mulana for the most part uh, because it actually kind of matches up with that kind of gameplay um, and then and, and kind of like the visual aesthetic too I guess but like I want to be the guy because there's just so much like the random traps that just pop up you know that you can't see like we can see these spikes the spikes are not an issue um, other than I, I suck but <laughs> You know, the spikes are not really an issue because we can see the spikes. But there are times when spikes will come out of a wall that you can't see. And they're just kind of there, and then you're dead. And that, you know, that really does kind of get frustrating because that doesn't feel like skill. That feels like you didn't die enough times to memorize the level yet, so you don't get to move on. And that's, I don't know, I guess that's kind of where I draw the line in how hard a game I want. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. And you know, this is the other problem that I see. Um, it does get to the point where like, okay, I've done this first part a thousand times now. Like, not, not literally a thousand times, of course. But, um, you know, I mean, I've done it enough times to prove that I can do this first part. So it really sucks to have to keep doing this first part. Because, like, I'm not really dying until this point anymore. So the fact that I still have to keep doing this part is is kind of just like a little bit grating and that's like yeah <laughs> um so yeah i mean i guess like that's that's my biggest warning like if if you go into this knowing it's extremely hard knowing it's going to test your patience knowing it's going to screw you over like a lot um y you know it's not a fair game i would say and i i don't think it's supposed to be a fair game it's certainly not marketed as a fair game like you will die you're not gonna get through this and not die um, that's just like a fact about the game um, honestly I don't know what happens like if you run out of all your lives obviously I have not played long enough to get anywhere near that so I couldn't tell you and my guess would be you'd have to start over probably <laughs> from the beginning of the game again um, and they would chalk it up as a learning experience I guess from like a, a design perspective but yeah, I mean, I guess that, that pretty much covers the gameplay. Um, I didn't really talk much about, like, the art and the music like I normally would. Oh, I just mistimed that. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, I think from an art perspective, it looks really good. Um, you know, like I said, it, it kind of reminds me a bit of, like, La Mulana, I guess. It's, you know, it's got a nice uh, kind of style to it. It's, it's definitely its own thing. And... It doesn't look like too much like any other game I've seen. They do a good job of keeping their own look to everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, there's the key. Sorry, I'd love if I could beat this level. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get like a look at what's going on here. Um, you can also hear from the music. Like, it, it's really good music. It really fits the game well. Of course, those tumble. Of course, that crumbles. Of course. Yep. That. I mean, that'll happen to you a million times. Where you'll get through an entire level, die to the very last trap, and then you gotta do it all over again. So, hope you don't mind like spending hours and hours getting through this game. Um, you know, I mean, like I said, I've spent maybe, f what, well, I guess close to an hour now. Um, I've gotten through, like, ten levels. There's supposed to be over a hundred, so... I guess that gives you uh, a good viewpoint on that. Like, it's certainly gonna give you enough time to, like, justify your purchase. The question is, like, do you have the patience to put in that time? and actually get through this game. I personally, I don't think I do. I think it's gonna be like a La Mulana situation. You know, I'll play it for a while. I'll probably never finish it. Um, it's awesome. Like, it, it's really cool to see games like this. 
but it, you know, it really does just like test your patience, like I said. And then, you know, like, yay, we finally did that, but then, like, what is this? You know? And let me guess, that'll shoot at me? Yep. <laughs> like, you know, you just start to, I guess, kind of predict how the game's going to screw you over. Not that it, like, helps you do any better, of course, but, um,. So yeah, I mean, what, we're going to have to drop through here without hitting a spike, land on that. Did I? Oh, there was like one pixel, I think, on that spike block that I was able to stand on. I like 10 second injured it. Um, yeah, so you know, I think this is probably like where I'll wrap it up. Uh, you know, I've kind of like rambled on for a while about like my thoughts on the design of the game, things like that which uh, it isn't totally my place to really talk about that but um, you know I do just want to like give out that warning like if you are not into really really hard experiences uh, I would maybe avoid this one if you're up for the challenge if you like hard games if you um, don't mind dying over and over and having to memorize every level in the game then sure go for it like I, I'm not going to turn you away from this one because that's, that's the experience you're going to get so I think as long as you know what you're getting out of this, you'll be fine. Yeah, that didn't work. But yeah, that's that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, there will be a link in the Steam in the uh, description to the Steam page. I believe it's uh, PC, Mac, and Linux. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is what's going on. As well as I think Vita, PS3, PS4, maybe Xbox 360. Maybe. I don't know. You can you can look it up pretty easily. But yeah, that that's where I'm going to um, end this one. So uh, as always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to comment on. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day. And if you liked my look at Avon Hawkins and the 1001 Spikes, then please do consider clicking the like button. But with that, I will thank you as always for uh, watching, and I will see you next time.